This is Alex Montuano, and he's a great player. He's a player of flamenco guitar and classic guitar as well. So I want you to listen to some of the tips. He will give you some very nice tips for all the people that is into classical guitar and playing the Spanish repertory of great authors like Albéniz, Granados, Manuel de Falla, and all the great Spanish composers. We will create this section also as part of the Stone's work because he's a very good player, flamenco player, and also an excellent classical player and interpreting Spanish repertoire. He will be graduated very soon in the Conservatory in Malaga. He has already two years starting the career of, of classical guitar and career of music in the Conservatory in Malaga. And he's also one of the grand recipients from CFG. So I recommend strongly that you listen to some of his advices because he is the only one person that I know that has a very nice sound knowledge on both things and that can give you a very objective and nice approach to the classic guitar, being also a flamenco player because he has both. So many people play classic players, sometimes they, they think they play flamenco but they really don't, nor they interpret properly many passages of the Spanish music, of the Spanish classical music, because of lacking some uh, cultural awareness of the, of the music in Andalusia and of the flamenco guitar as well, that can be useful. We are not talking about combining both techniques or anything, but just about certain tips that will be very useful for you, because he has both flamenco and classic guitar. And this is very rare. Generally, people that play flamenco play only flamenco, or classic people play only classic. So Alex has both qualities, and I want you to listen to what he will say. It's very good, and you will get a nice value out of it. Many people, Asturias by Sacal Benitz, play it like this. way of uh, playing, it's using the, uh, too many rubato and uh, it uh, is going to lose the rhythmic and uh, its uh, standard, how, how it was uh, composed. And I would advise you to, to try to do it more metronomic, uh, because it's Spanish music and uh, one of the most important things in, in the Spanish music is the rhythmic. No? And I would like to show you my my opinion about this, this, this piece in, uh, in, in the interpretation part.
much better that. How it will be with the rubato? Show. The rubato would be like this. Just exaggerate it to see how it will be. It loses, loses, it loses, loses meaning, yeah. yeah. And uh, one thing uh, that I would like to, to tell you about the fingering, because many people, when uh, you arrive at this part, uh, this part, the arpeggio, they use it like this, like Segovia wrote it in, 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 uh, when he transcribed it, and they use this uh, fingering. you to do it in the same place where you started to use the same uh, the same fingering here and uh, the B note from the the first uh, string to use it with to play it with the first finger and then the E to play it with the with the second finger and that would sound like like this. People play that part without using the six strings. Uh, no, they yeah, use no, six no. strings, but they 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 do it uh, with only finger, one one finger. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Or like this. <laughs> it's good because uh, uh, it's very rhythmic now, but the character of the Spanish music needs to use the rajero, no? Definitely is better. <laughs> 